people want to see for a while tomorrow night. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I was just talking to someone out there a second ago, and, you know, we didn't get to do it in the dual meet. Big Tens, you know, didn't work out for me. You know, it's going to be an exciting match tomorrow. Uh, I'm looking forward. I know Jake is. Um, I know a lot of people in the stands are, too. What about the team race? I mean, I was trying to make a little charge tonight with you guys, and you guys are obviously continuing to do your winning to keep them at bay. I mean, how, how fun is uh, tomorrow possibly going to be? I mean, I, I've been thinking about it for a while now, and, you know, if we can pull this off, it's going to be it's gonna be amazing. You know, as a team, you know, I know wrestling's an individual sport, but, you know, our coach has been saying all year, you know, we need to work on the team. A lot of the guys that didn't even get in the lineup, you know, they're going to be part of this too. So, I mean, it, it's just going to be... It, it, it'll be amazing. You know, I, I know I won it last year and looking forward to another one here, but I think, you know, winning as a team will be even that much better. Is there something special about unseating Iowa in that stuff? Um, or like unseating an Oklahoma State? Yeah, I mean, it, it's always good that when there's someone out there that everyone thinks can't be beat and you can pull it off. I know my whole life's kind of been like that. You know, every match I wrestled in big matches, people have said, you know, you know, he's good, but there's no way he's going to be able to beat this guy. And, and I've done it a few times, and I'm hopefully looking forward to doing it again tomorrow night. And then, you know, as, as a team-wise, it's the same thing. You know, Iowa, every year, you know, past couple of years, and, you know, 15 years ago, they were unbeatable. And people said that this year, too. And I think we got a really good shot, one three in the finals. What's the key to beating Jake? I'll score more points. I, I mean, that's all I can say, I guess. You know, it, it's going to be a battle out there. Um, I guess that's all. <laughs> Now your dad is at you know all of your matches, every one of them. Um, has he said anything to you to help inspire you before all of your matches here today? Um, not really. He's getting old. No, I'm <laughs> uh, but uh, you know he's he's always been there for me. All my wrestling matches, I don't really can't really remember any of the ones he's missed that you know he could have made it to, uh, except for you know maybe flying out to Vegas one year or something like that. But um, I mean it's it's good having someone like that. My mom's here too, and my sister and. You know, it's it's uh, it's nice seeing those guys up there in the, in the crowd cheering for you. Mike, you may have been in Hofstra when Tom got the job. Isn't that correct? Correct. Weren't you were a true freshman then. I was. Yeah, I was. A, I was redshirt. I redshirted there my freshman year. When you heard that he took the Ohio State job, what did you think? Well, uh, actually, I was coming to Ohio State, and he followed me. Uh, uh, you were transferring <laughs> prior to that. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, no, he. Uh, before you know, a month before he actually got hired. You know, he was looking at it, and, um, you know, I told him, I said, hey, if, if, if you get the job, I'm coming with you. There's no way I, I wouldn't. I mean, it's in my home state. I've always loved Ohio State. You know, I'm a big Buckeye fan, big Buckeye football fa fan. So, I mean, it was it was uh, kind of a blessing in disguise that I ended up going to Hofstra and, you know, getting the job. You know, he's great for the job, too. I mean, he's, I mean, the show's out there right now. When he did get the job, frankly, many people didn't think he was the first choice. But is he the perfect choice for that? Uh, absolutely. I mean, I know there were there were great coaches in there, including I think Terry Brands was one of them, who obviously again you can see is uh, you know a great coach. But I think he he just fits the mold for you know Ohio State just the best. I mean, he's just he's perfect. You know, a perfect balance between you know being that coach that's going to push you through, and make you run through the wall, and then also you know setting you back and. Saying, okay, you got to go eat something. You got to do this. You know, go out. You know, relax a little bit. And he, he's he's really, you know, great for me and great for our our team you and the argue, state too. Can't argue where you and the program are at right now. No, absolutely not. I mean, it's, I mean, actually, I'd like to score about 100 more points out there and then not worry about it tomorrow. But <laughs> so good. How close to 100 percent are you? Considered you missed pretty much half the first the first half of the year. Um. 100%. I mean, I you know, college wrestling season, it's hard to ever be 100%. Um, I feel pretty good. You know, you know I mean, I'm, I guess you can never say you're 100%, but I'm pretty close. All right. Well, good luck tomorrow. Thank you.